Hi everyone, it's Frugal here. As always, I have my coffee because otherwise somebody might just get killed. So let's talk about your small business and money. So there's a couple of very important words and uh, things that you need to understand. Uh, it's actually just for practical reasons, more than just being able to baffle people with big words. Things like cash flow. Cash flow is the money that is flowing through your small business. So think about it like this way. It is like, uh, like you have a vein and you need blood flowing through it. And as the blood flows through it, um, it basically gives life. And if you have cholesterol, which would be debt, that would be uh, basically stopping the cash flow. So different companies have got different structures of payment. So for example, some of my clients say, listen, uh, I need a 90 day payment term, but you need to make sure that the cash keeps on flowing, that gives you life. And that if you do have delayed payments, which often happens with things like grants, uh, your machinisa and those people that you know that eventually that you will be okay until that payment happens. The two things that really kill businesses is cash flow and not having enough clients. So cash flow is really important. But now to break that down, what you've got is you've got money in and money out. So your money in is called income, which we know already, and your money out is called expenses. You also have other big words like assets and liabilities. Assets are the things that you own that you can sell for money. And then liabilities, which is the things that basically, uh, you know, like bank loans and things where you need to basically repay them. So when considering all of these things, it's important to have cash flow. Yes, I know you need income. Yes, you will have expenses. But if you don't have cash flow, if you don't have money coming into the company and flowing out, you're basically going to get a heart attack. It's really as simple as that. So it is so important to make sure that the income comes in and that it actually can flow through. We know that you need an emergency fund for your business now. I mean, two years ago, we were just like, nope, not needed. And we know that many of the restaurants and many of the businesses of what's happened in the last year or two, uh, you know, they didn't have an emergency fund. They had really no money. They were living on the edge and they collapsed. We also know this from other banks, such as um, Lehman Brothers um, and a lot of these companies where they were literally just on the bridge, like on the brink of bankruptcy. You need an emergency fund for your side hustle or small business. Don't get caught with your pants down. It might be that the client says, listen, I am going to pay, but I'm going to pay a little bit late. Whether it's a, a rental property, whether it's your salary, whether it's anything, have that emergency fund in place. Now that you know about very big words about, uh, you know, cash flow and small business and emergency fund and all fancy things like that, have a wonderful day and happy investing.